when we saw that tsunami debris last week, uh, people were saying that there's no radiation threat from that. But now that it's been published in a prestigious scientific journal that they've actually found low levels of radiation in seafood off the coast of California, that raises a lot of alarm bells. Now, scientists are saying that for now, at least in the, uh, at least in the immediate future, there is no real cause for concern to the public. That's because the levels of radiation that were found in, in this bluefin tuna caught by sport fishermen off of San Diego are only about 3% higher than the levels of radiation that naturally occur in the ocean. Also, those levels are far below what is considered safe to eat by both the Japanese and the United States government. However, they were very surprised by these findings because they thought that with the amount of time it takes for these bluefin tuna, these large fish, to travel from Japan to the uh, west coast of the United States, that the radiation would have dissipated by then, and clearly it has not, Suzanne. And Casey, we talked to one of the scientists who did the research earlier today on CNN. Uh, he said he was pretty surprised about what they actually found. I, I want you to listen to how he described it. We uh, caught um, uh, 15 bluefin tuna off San Diego in August 2011 and uh, dissected them and analyzed their muscle tissue for cesium, radioactive cesium, knowing that the these isotopes were released from Fukushima. And we were quite surprised to find that uh, these bluefin carried these, uh, both of these radioisotopes, cesium-134 and cesium-137, uh, to uh, waters off California. So, Casey, uh, I imagine people are probably thinking I shouldn't be eating bluefish tuna at this point. Well, there's probably people who are thinking that, but we should point out that most of the bluefin tuna that is consumed in the United States is actually farm-raised Atlantic bluefin tuna. What we're talking about here is Pacific bluefin tuna, wild caught by recreational fishermen. We should also point out that even when that tuna was off the coast of Japan, right after the Fukushima accident happened, the levels that were found when it was in Japan were below those considered safe for human consumption. But that doesn't mean that we're sort of out of the woods yet. Scientists are that bluefin tuna in particular is safe to eat. Even one of the scientists who conducted the study said he wouldn't uh, hesitate to eat bluefin right now. And Suzanne? do we know how much of the fish that they're actually able to test or is this a very small sample? It is a very small sample. We're talking about 15 fish here out of the tens of thousands that are, that are caught and consumed in uh, the United States and Japan every year.